Hi, this is Movie Buff 35 and I have 19 steel books to show you. First up is Wolfman. Again, it's all printed on the steel book itself, but not a bad film, kind of reminds me of the, the Hammer Horror movies. Not the greatest of the effects are brilliant of the Wolfman makeup by Rick Baker, but um, I think I still prefer the original Wolfman movie. Next up is Play Exclusive Wolverine. Again, I do like this cover, very nice cover, and the printed on the back. That's Wolverine. Next up is the HMV exclusive Wrath of the Titans 3D. There's both versions of it. I'll show you this in the previous one so I won't go into too much detail on it. Again it's the inside artwork. Wrath of the Titans. Next up is another Play.com exclusive X-Men First Class. Not too keen on the certificate, 12 certificate printed on the steelbook itself. It's all printed on again, but it's the inside. No artwork at all. Shame, which I'll have to do myself at some point. X Men first class. Here's a a blind buy off eBay, Zombie Knight 1 and 2, a German steelbook. Never seen them, they look like they've made on some somebody's home video camera, but again a bargain price of two pounds I won it for, so it's a metal pack, I think they call it, not an actual steelbook. But there you go. Next up is another play.com exclusive, Zulu. Classic Michael Caine movie. Inside artwork. Zulu. Now these are the ones I've picked up over the last, I think, month or three weeks, so... Well, this one isn't, but it's a Alien anthology, the Play.com exclusive, which I've had. Hi, Michael. Lance Henriksen, who plays Bishop in Aliens. Just I met him on in... He's read it in the American way, which is June... June the 3rd this year. Love this steelbook. Very nice. Even better now, it's signed. Next up is Armageddon. I did this in another uh, video, so I won't go into too much detail on that one. You probably all own it anyway. Next up is the HMV exclusive Cabin in the Woods. It, uh, I kept the original disc that was in there, but I got my replacement just in case. So I didn't even check the, the original disc. Supposedly it skips and goes out of sync or something, but. I wait until I got the replacement disc to watch it, and mm, it was okay. <laughs> Not as good as I remember it being. HMV exclusive Chernobyl Diaries. The back. Inside, very nice. Not the greatest of movies, I was expecting, I had high hopes really for this when I went to see it at the cinema. Thinking it was going to be something like paranormal, but ended up being more of a the hills have eyes in Chernobyl. The Play.com exclusive Con Air again. I did this in a previous video, so there you go. It's just for anyone who watches this who haven't seen these ones. HMV exclusive Dark Shadows. Quite like this cover. Matte finish, very shiny. Again, printed on the back, which I'm not keen on, as I keep saying. 
But I watched this the other night. It wasn't a bad movie. Glad I didn't see it at the cinema. Again, I did this with an, on another video. Die Hard 3. Hopefully they'll bring out Die Hard 1 and 2. And 4. And the new one next year on Steelbook. Everybody's favourite, I think. E.T. The Extraterrestrial. I think this is the original version with none of the tweaks and it was on the 20th anniversary edition. So, which is the version I always I remember most as a kid. Classic scene when they're flying on their BMXs. ET. It's very nice, very the matte finish, no no embossed or anything like that, which is a shame. It'd be quite nice to see. Next up is the Human Centipede. One and two. I haven't seen the second one yet, but uh, I just I don't know why they've put him on both front and back. They could have the other the other Doctor on there. And you get. Blu-ray and DVD of both movies. So. Again, not bad. From a company called Monster. But. Next up is another one I bought off eBay. A German version of Jaws. And I don't have to open this as I have the other steel book. But again, it was a rather cheap. I think I won it for seven pounds something. I think so. But I love Jaws, so any version I've got is is brilliant. Next up is one I got today. Men in Black Three, the HMV exclusive steel book. Will Smith on the front, Tommy Lee Jones on the back, take the promotional pieces out, again pretty good artwork inside, I haven't, I didn't get the Play.com exclusive trilogy steelbook I might get it if it's still available, but it's just twenty nine ninety nine. I don't know if it's worth paying thirty pound for for that steelbook or not, but I'll find out from other people on here. Um, this one's got Top Gun. The logo is actually embossed, which I quite like. The frame embossed frame round here. Back artwork. I do like this steel book. The film, I used to love this film, but I've kind of gone off it so much now. It sounds good, um, but very nice. You know, for ten ninety nine, it's well worth it. And the last one is the HMV. Uh, sorry, not HMV. Play dot com exclusive Untouchables. Um, great movie. Not so keen on this cover, but it's still very nice. It's you can. It's got. It's not embossed, but it does feel like it's raised all sort of compared to the others. But um, again, you know, for ten ninety nine, it's better than the standard Blu-ray case. So that's the classic Untouchables. Anyway, thanks for watching, and ho and please subscribe and. Um, Put some comments on. I'd like to hear from you guys. Anyway, cheers. Thanks a lot. See you in the next one.